hours of live coverage today. We are so happy to have you along with us out in Twitch and on YouTube. It is NFC North time. It is Radiant taking on Scheming, Lions, Packers. Great rivalry. Oh, yeah, for sure. One of the best in sports, in football. This is an exciting matchup. A quick little two nuggets here. Radiant's going to get the ball first. Scheming said his plan is to have speed at the slot corner position to slow down the rollout ability. It looked like an early mistake there from uh, Radiant, but he's able to get up to the 27-yard line. Let's take a look at the playbooks, Radiant's West yeah. Coast offense. In this West Coast offense, a lot of gun bunch. Like we said, a lot of rolling out with that Andrew Luck. He's going to try to throw deep a lot. On the flip side, first scheme in Saints offense. We talked about the Taysom Hill package. Yeah, he's going to use that Taysom Hill package. He said QB Blast is huge for him with that Lamar Jackson. This is going to be an exciting offensive showcase. Both these players... Looking to become club champions, but you got to win the first one to be able to even start thinking about that $100,000 top prize and the belt. It's going to be Radiant starting off with the ball first. And, and this was a person we were very excited to see at the Lions Club Championship. I don't think people had really high expectations coming from that two eSport background, but he proved a lot. Yeah, when I talked to him, you know, he said he's playing with house money. He has nothing to prove, nothing to lose. He loves Madden. He really does. He says he hit a win, but like he said, he's a two-sport eSport e athlete. He has nothing to lose. He went 6-1 and one through the online qualifiers and the live events. His lone loss was to rival in the online qualifiers, who then came back and beat 28-7 to seven in the Lions Club Championship Final. First down to 10, he's going to come out gun punch action with Andrew Luck. See Devin Hester to the outside. What a day he had yesterday. A lot of speed at the wide receiver position. Looks like he's trying to run a little wide receiver post, doing his hot routes. Got Chris Johnson on the left hip of Luck as he drops back to pass. Rolling out. Good coverage downfield by Smith. He'll dump this off underneath to the tight end. Jonu Smith to the 34-yard line. Yeah, great play. He went with that wide receiver post play, but used that slot apprentice to get a corner out. I talked to Skimbo in the players' lounge. He said they played 15 times the last few days. Radiates won 10 of those. So you know this guy's legit if he's beaten one of the best players in the world. And if you're scheming, like we said, he wants to have speed in that slot cornerback position in order to slow down this rollout from Andrew Luck and Radiant. Kind of think we're going to see some contains defensively to try to keep that escape artist at bay. Second down and three. Radiant led the entire 32 here at the club championship in special team touchdown percentage. He scored a special team touchdown 5.5% of the time. Special teams matter, folks. He's rolling out is Andrew Logan. He'll have to chuck this one away. Yeah, Scheman just playing phenomenal defense right now. Not giving up any big plays. Playing a lot of coverage defense. And the thing that, like we said, he doesn't want to get hurt by that rollout. He's doing a great job right now. Wasn't the best pass defense, right? 25th gave up 110 through the air, through the online ladders. But he was number three out of the 32 in the interceptions total. Picking off 343 passes on third and three he's looking for one here but it's gonna be another dump off it's that tight end John o. Smith one more time yeah you see that tight end delay route like we saw with Skimbo yesterday he, they love this route such a dominant route because you, you know you don't expect it and then you hit him with it a couple seconds later great play if you're radiant are you happy with how the offense is going early you picked up a first down but you haven't really been able to push it downfield yeah you haven't that's what radiant wants to do like we said he wants to go deep but you know you got to take these little routes sometimes you got you got to take every yard you can get First down to 10 for Radiant. Great block on the outside, allows Luck to get outside of the pocket, but once again, good coverage downfield, and you're seeing those cornerbacks able to bring down the pressure on Andrew Luck and not let him break away for a 10-yard run. Yeah, that was Scheman's main thing coming to this game, is not let the rollout hurt him, and he's doing a phenomenal job right now with that speed at corner. See how the two-sport, e-sport athlete, Radiant, Adjust to Scheman, who's one of the top adjusters, always making pre-play adjustments, leading the entire 32, a number of pre-play adjustments. As a throw back across the body, there's that cross-body inaccurate. There's nothing worse than seeing the word inaccurate on the bottom of your screen. Yeah, and that dash of dead eye, you don't see that often. He tries to go to that backside dig route that we see so often, and just th throws it a little too low. Good defense right now. We've got a big third and ten here. We haven't seen Scheman dial up a lot of pressure. It's been send four, contain, drop back. See what he does on third down. Hester splits out wide to the left side. 
Oh, man, uh, this great. time the pressure got there. It was only a five-man rush, but who else but Lawrence Taylor getting the sack on third down? Yeah, Scheman with a great game plan so far into this game. That's why he has that name, Scheman. He said he's been in the lab eight hours a day, watching so much film on Radiant. It's paying off here on this first drive. So a win for Scheman on the first drive, getting a stop and forcing a decision here from Radiant. He's just going to punt this away play field position. Yes, he is. And you don't want to kick now to uh, these dangerous returners here in salary cap. Devin Hester, you definitely don't want to kick to him. Looks like he might have a chance in bounds. No. Just out of bounds, and now we get to see Scheman's offense come out on the field. The 28-year-old from Berkeley, California. Scheman's one of those guys, when you talk to the players here, you just don't know what to expect, as exemplified by the fact he's running the Saints offense with that Taysom Hill package. Yeah, great point, Nick. He plays a little unorthodox usually, but he's in this New Orleans playbook. We're going to see that Taysom Hill formation, a lot of QB blasts, but I think he's going to audible around a lot too. That's what Scheman likes to do. He goes to different formations for different looks. you got to wonder how much will people be comparing how his offense runs to how Joe ran it yesterday with Lamar Jackson. He was so effective running the ball. Lamar at the helm. He's going to hand it to Tony Pollard. Not going to pick up anything on first down. Yeah, uh, like you said, I think it's going to be a little different. Like we said, Scheman likes to do different things, but with that first play, I would like to see him go to that Lamar Jackson. You paid all that cap for the fast break, all that cap for the escape artist. I'd like to see him, you know, utilize that on that first play. We saw Tony Pollard have a couple big games yesterday in the AFC. Three touchdowns for Pavin in that AFC West final. Not a high cap running back, but people like him. He's got a lot of speed behind him. Yeah, he's a great budget running back in salary cap. A lot of speed. Only 29 cap, I believe. Definitely a great running back if you're not going to spend up for one of the best ones. Reminder, if you were watching the final fours over the last five weeks, those games played 825 cap. We're all the way up to 950. How are you seeing people using that extra 125 cap? I've seen a lot of, especially on defense, you know, this, they're getting the goons out there in the secondary at linebacker. I've seen some 95 overalls. You know, we're going to see some guys with 10 cap quarterbacks, 15 cap quarterbacks later today, and their defense is insane. So that's where they're utilizing all that extra cap. Yeah, you're definitely seeing the defense. What's also why you're seeing a little bit of a shift in the meta, a lot more passing. You're not seeing quite the success from the run game because those defenses, uh, they're juiced up. Second out of 10. Have a little, little right up the middle for Lamar Jackson. Give him five. And it seemed like as quickly as he took the snap, he was five yards down the field. Yeah, that's what you want to see, the QB blast. And Radiant has that Pat Tillman back there. That's what he's going to need in order to stop this Lamar Jackson. Try to get a fumble or something. Looks like he's honorable back to this QB blast. Let's see if he goes with it again. He does. And he is good blocking up front, but... Man, if there's one person that's pretty tough to block, it's Pat Tillman. Hurry up offense from Scheman on fourth and two. Trying to keep the drive alive after the early stop on Radiant. He's going to go back to the QB blast. Let's see if Pat Tillman stops it. Oh, what a hit from Bullock in the middle. Sit on down, Lamar. We're going the other way. Yeah, no Pat Tillman, but Keith Bullock right there for the huge hit stick in the backfield. And already a huge turnover. Big mistake by Scheman right there. One stop apiece, but great field position for Radiant. He'll hand it to Chris Johnson for the first time. CJ2K picking up two. Yeah, it goes to the sweep right there with that CJ2K. This is where it gets tough in the red zone. Like we saw yesterday, a lot of people struggle when they get down here. Let's see what Radiant has. The defense is standing tall early. Andrew Luck dropping back to pass. Only a three-man rush, but he'll find Marvin Harrison diving play in front of Troy Polamalu, and he will hurry back to the line on first and goal. Yeah, he went with that slot apprentice post route. Nice pass over the middle. Goes with the sweep here. CJ two. Oh, what a cut up the middle. Just got caught up on his blocker. He'll get down to the two-yard line once again. Hurry up offense for Radiant into the gun bunch. Andrew Luck with Chris Johnson. Gives it to Johnson. Trying to find the edge, but great defense from Scheman. And like we said, this is where it gets tough now. What's Radiant going to do? I'm going to look for maybe a wheel route out of the backfield here with a motion dealt post. See what he does. I think we're going to go to the end of the first quarter, though. Well, it's been an exciting defensive-filled first quarter. Doesn't really feel like either player has the edge, except for the fact that Radiant's inside the red zone. Scoreless. Do you like seeing, there's, there's a lot of varying thoughts, do you like seeing the hurry up offense inside the, the goal line or would you like to see him maybe think about that play call a little more? No, I don't like to see it at all. I think, you know, you risk yourself a fumble in those situations with the hurry up now. It's not as good as it used to be in past Maddens. I don't think there's no need for it here. Look for a halfback wheel route now. Don't forget, we'll check in on that BG Fam Phenom game at halftime. Third down and goal, quick Whoa. throw. That's Troy Apke. He's sitting right there, says Whoa, thank man. you very much. 
It's Christmas time in Green Bay. Huge pick right there for Scheman. Not sure what Radian was trying to do there. Looks like he had two in routes and a motion post. Maybe tried to low ball one of those in routes and just had a horribly inaccurate pass. Big turnover right there for Scheman. And as you can see, Radian absolutely devastated by that turnover. Jackson, he'll take off, sliding down to the 14-yard line. Do you find Lamar Jackson is more dangerous out of that QB blast? I feel like he's he's really dangerous when you can send a lot of routes out and then the entire defense backs up and you can scramble with him. Yeah, he's definitely dangerous both ways. And that's the thing with scheming now. He comes out in that five wide. You don't see that ever really. That's the unorthodox uh, style of scheming. And now he's going to obble back to that QB blast. Back into the Taysom Hill package. It is Lamar Jackson. A oh, little shimmy shake. And now Lamar Jackson's in open space. Turn on the burners, Lamar. Wave Whoa, goodbye. Man. Lamar Jackson to the house. Phenomenal stick work by Scheman. Gave him a little shimmy shake to the left. Outfaked Radiant's user. Huge touchdown for Scheman and his confidence going forward. Kick is up and it is good. Scheman, 7 0. Welcome to the Taysom Hill package. There's a lot of talk on Twitter about how dangerous this formation is. Yeah, it's going to be the new meta, I think. Guys like Joke, guys like Scheman here, bringing it out, and it's paid dividends so far. Such a tough thing to stop, especially when you haven't seen it all year. As this was the turnover going the other way, our Snickers replay, it is Troy Apke with a pick, and then how about Lamar Jackson? Just the old okey doke on Jonathan Abram. Yeah, the budget player, Troy Apke with the pick, and then the guy you spend up for, Lamar Jackson, with the touchdown. That's why you build your salary cap team with those two guys. Great job. Now we get Radiant back on offense off the turnover. First drive, it was a punt. Second drive, a red zone pick. 4.03 to go in the first half. Radiant trying to find his offensive groove. He'll drop back to pass, great block on the edge. Luck outside the pocket, he'll dump it off to John Ross. Spin move, first down, juke move. Keep on going, the speedster out of UW. Yeah, nice stick work right there by Radiant. Little drag underneath, made a guy miss, then him with a juke. Big gain right there, moves it to the 49-yard line. In the online ladders. 22.5 points for per game, only 10.6 against. Just blowing people out in the ladders. No sir. As Luck will have to throw no that sir. one away, and you hear Scheman getting some confidence defensively. Scheman doing an excellent job. What his game plan was was to stop that rollout. He's doing such a good job at it, as you can see. He knows it too. Rating, of course, labbing hard with the three time belt winner, Michael Skimbo. We saw yesterday win two games. Luck, all sorts of time. He's going to take a shot. Look at Maras over the top. That's and Marlon pick, Humphrey man. gets back to make a play. Scheman begging for the interception. Yeah, wow. Radiant thought he had a step on him. Scheman clicks on, makes a nice play. Cannot come up with the pick. That's got to hurt if you're Scheman. Radiant's best finish coming in. Plays 65th in the Madden 19 challenge. Talked about how he loves the game of Madden. No, he is that two eSport athlete. He loves playing, in the words of RG, a little John Madden football. Nice first down pickup there from Radiant. Yeah, smart play right there. Ah. Waited for him to bite off it with the user, then threw it to him. Nice possession catch. Nice first down. And this maybe could be the best thing for Radiant, just able to put together a drive right now and get a little confidence offensively. Yeah, for sure. This is a big drive right here. You want to get points on the board. Still plenty of time in this game. Getting into halftime, you want to get closer. To the 39-yard line, just outside of field goal range. A 56-yarder from here. Luck in that gun bunch. Dropping back on first and 10. Good coverage downfield, good coverage underneath. Marlon Humphrey with a little lurky lurk, and there goes on, Humphrey. Man. Defense making plays for Come Bam Scheman. Excellent defense by Scheman. Manned up the drag route. I don't think Radiant saw him. He threw it. Pick six, Marlon Humphrey, phenomenal defense all game so far by Scheman. Scheman said coming into this, he prepared for Radiant like he was preparing for Skimbo. A lot of respect for Radiant. Oh, 100%. He said that. So much respect for him, but he watched so much film on him. Says he's watched him all week long, back to back, all his games. And wow, it's paying off right now. Second interception for the defense. As we look at the Snickers replay, intercepted the lurk from Marlon Humphrey. Yeah, just a read you can't make if you're radiant. And Marlon Humphrey, just too much speed. No one's going to catch him. 
It's never good when you throw that pick underneath because it seems like there's just nobody back there to make a stop. It's a touchdown every time. Yeah, it usually is. I mean, just no one can catch him. No quarterback, no lineman's going to catch Marlon Humphrey. All right, 2.24 to go in the half. TD, what does Radiant have to do on this drive to get back into it? Yeah, here's the drive that matters now. You're down two touchdowns. you got to get in the end zone here before half. you got to make something happen. The rollout, the rollout hasn't been there for him at all. And when it has been there, the coverage downfield has been good. The user in defense has been phenomenal. Looks like he might have a man. Playmaker to Marvin Harrison. Whoa. Takes a big hit, but holds on to it. Troy P. Give it a little, how do you do? Yeah, great play. Way to stay patient right there if you're radiant. You rolled out right, got to the outside. Then you waited for him to cut up the field. Nice pass lead, huge play. And we're going to go with two-minute warning and radiance in business. Man, that playmaker ability. It's so dangerous, especially on those broken plays. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that's the way Reddy wants to play, man. He plays a little wild on offense, likes to roll out, likes to go deep. I'll hand it off to Chris Johnson, trying to find some room on the edge. He's telling his blocker, man, get out of my way. I got a touchdown there. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he had a hole there, but got clogged up in the lane and nothing Laramie going. Tunsil. Come on, Laramie, just, just a little bit. Just step to the side. 14-0. Scheming on top reminder, we'll check in with BG Fam and Phenom, Josh and Mo, keeping an eye on that game at halftime. Under a minute and a half to go. That's where Radiant has struggled. He's gotten inside the 30 a couple times. It's been a couple turnovers. Johnson outside. Cuts back up inside. And once again, Laramie Tunsil, the best defensive player out there for Scheman. Yeah, definitely. And Scheman making so many adjustments on defense right now. Love to see it going cover two on that solo side. Man up the slot receiver. And this is where it gets tough. Like we said in the red zone, third and three here. Look for something underneath. Field tightens up. And for somebody like Radiant who wants to push the ball downfield, this can be a bit of a struggle. And it's 16 to go in the half. See what Radiant does out of the bunch. Hester split wide left. Dropping back. Only a three-man rush. He's looking for Johnson over the top, and he's got him. Drip and drop into the bucket for Radiant. He gets on the board. Phenomenal dot by Radiant. He went to the halfback wheel, waited for him in the back of the end zone over Keith Bullock's head. Great touchdown to get back in the game, and here we go. we got a good game now. That's a real pro-style read right there. Yeah, it Patient. really was. That was just phenomenal. He, the patience that he showed right there to wait to the back of the end zone, pass lead outside, no one can get to it. Just great drive right there by Radiant. Does leave a lot of time for Scheman. Minute 10 and counting. Has two timeouts. Looking for a fumble on special teams. Let's take a look at this one more time. It's just a simple halfback wheel right over the top of the user. Yeah, Scheman left him to go back to that post. He didn't really need to and left him wide open in the back of the end zone. And that's all the windows sometimes you need. It was just one step to the inside. Yeah, great point. All you need is that one little step that Scheman did with Bullock to the left. Boom, you throw it to the outside. Nice touchdown. It's been a while since Scheman's been on offense. Did we get a defensive touchdown last score of the game? 28 years old. Said he quit his FedEx job to lock in. He's betting on himself, and so far that bet's paying off. Up 14-7. to seven. Stepping up is Lamar outside of the pocket. I don't know... I mean, again, you think back to Madden 04, looking at Michael Vick. Have we seen a player as dynamic as Lamar Jackson in the game of Madden? No, we have not. Lamar Jackson surpassed Mike Vick as the fastest player in the regs game mode. Um, yeah, he's just so dynamic. With this escape bar stability and fast break, he's just so good, as you can see. Falls forward, too. Does it all. And here's the scary part. Sometimes you look at video games, you sit there and you go, man, that's not realistic. That's just how Lamar Jackson is in real life. It looks exactly the same. Exactly. That's why he's one of the MVP front runners this year. Just a beast in real life and in Madden. Second and one, going back into that Taysom Hill package with Tony Pollard on the right hip. Lamar Jackson. Oh, look at the patience. Look at the patience. Just picks up a couple, but gets the first down and hurries back to the line. 19 seconds and counting. Looking to get in field goal range. Lamar dropping back to pass. He'll take off up the middle. Just avoids the hit from Griffin. It'd be a 54-yard kick from here. Yeah, great patience right there to wait. You only need a couple yards. It's going to be kind of a difficult field goal, but I think he should be able to make it. Depends on who his kicker is. Nice patience right there, though. And now, this is a big field goal for, for Scheman, if he can go up 17-7. sort of right on the edge of range. Got to hit this perfectly. Yeah, you definitely do. Let's see who his kicker is. But, yeah, that was a nice little player. That nice scramble to get those yards you needed. Graham Gano. Graham Gano, yeah. I think he should be able to make this. 
Didn't kick it perfect on the accuracy. Doesn't have enough leg. Graham good no. Graham good yes. In. And it is 17 to 7 at the half. That touchdown from Radiant so big to cut into the lead. But we go to halftime. It's a 10 point lead for the Green Bay Packers club champion. We've got another game going on right now. BG Fam taking on Phenom. Let's check in with Josh and Mo for an update. Phenom's up in this one, Nick. Thank you very much. It's been the Chris Johnson show really for both teams. In fact, 20 of the first 22 plays of this game were Chris Johnson runs. There's a play that was not, and it did not go well. As Phenom is leading this game, and there's a Chris Johnson burst, finally getting somebody in the end zone. Mark. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Chris Johnson in the first half, and like I said, uh, Phenom's going to run the ball, that West Coast playbook, but this was the story of the half. Um, BG just not taking care of the ball as a fumble and you know he turned the ball over a few times in that first half and that's really been the difference in the game it's been way too easy for phenom running the ball with chris johnson saw that hurdle there from chris johnson a little singing and dancing from phenom who's now up 17 to 3 to give you that update and are you surprised that it's just all chris johnson from both players i mean one guy's got lamar jackson not really using him what are you seeing going forward you know i i like bg fam's approach to the game but you know sometimes you can play too loose and that he's fumbled twice with that lamar jackson just being careless across the line of scrimmage not sliding down and just taking hits with his quarterback and that's why we see the difference in the score 17 to 3 because he's turned the ball over twice with that lamar jackson yeah two forced fumbles and we're not forcing you but we, we thought you'd like to see right now all the guys that are here getting ready in that Snickers Players Lounge, watching the action as we speak. And you can watch, too, video on demand. You just go on to YouTube, and it's the Madden Competitive Gaming Channel, and you can see all the action yourself. Again, 17-3 to is our update here. Phenom's got the lead. Let's go back to Nick. Gentlemen, appreciate it. I think Phenom's having fun over there. Oh, yeah. I couldn't really tell. <laughs> He's always having fun, man. <laughs> He's Shaking and jiving time. and dancing, yeah, he's having a blast. That's what you love to see here at the Madden Championship. All that competitiveness, all that fun. This is the best thing in the world. What else could you be doing? It's going to be scheming, getting the ball to start the second half with that 10-point lead. But the ball is out on the kickoff. It's picked up by Radiant. What a turn of events. I was just about to say, you know, that drive before half was huge before scheme, for scheming, but now that turnover is going to be costly. Fumble on the kick return has been killing people all tournament, and it happens again here. Wow. Special teams coming into play, and now Radiant with a bright new life, and he'll give it to Chris Johnson. Radiant has so much life now. You know, he was probably feeling down the dumps, down 10 at half. Now he gets a chance here. He's got to get in the end zone. Second and 10. Boy, that's got to give you a boost of confidence going into the second half. There's a big difference between being down 10 with the ball and without it. As Lock rolls out right side. Nowhere to go. He'll take the sack. Yeah, big sack right there. And this was a game changer for Radiant. Even if he gets three here, he's still back in the game. Big third and 11 here. Scheman just played such good defense. What I noticed he's doing, he's putting his slot corner in a spy a lot of the time. Third and 11. Waiting, looking. He'll take off with luck. We haven't really seen him run with luck. He slides down. I think he's going to be just short. He is. Decision time for Radiant. This is a huge call. The, probably the biggest call in Radiant's Madden career right here on this moment. And he's going to take the conservative approach and t kick his field goal. I don't hate this decision. I really don't. Keep yourself in the game. You got lucky getting that fumble. Now you're back in the game. I like the decision. It's not where the slide finishes. It's where you start your slide. And that was where Andrew Luck began his slide short of the first down marker. 17 to 10, though. And now Skimmit, look at him cover up the ball. He's gone. I don't need another fumble here on a kickoff. Yeah, I wouldn't even bother returning after something like that happens to me. I try to avoid that situation anyways. You do have that Devin Hester there, so I understand it. But now if you're scheming, you know, a little adversity there. Got to get back to your game. Utilize that QB blast. And like I said, I was trying to say earlier, that drive before halftime was huge for scheming to go up 10. Um, getting that field goal, but then the fumble happened. But here we go, 17-10, big drive again. Inside Pizza Hut Stadium, every single game here at the Madden NFL 20 Club Championship. Trying to make a name for themselves, it's Tony Pollard. Just a little over pursuit there from Radiant, gives him a first down. Yeah, Radiant going for that hit stick, completely whiffed, and then uh, allows Tony Pollard to get about a 12-yard gain. It's one of those plays that I watch and I go, I've done that before. <laughs> you think you can line them up for the hit stick, they give you a little swerve. Your player's now five yards behind him. 
Yeah, that's Radian just looking for a turnover, man. He wants to use that pal when he paid all that cap for him and just couldn't get enough right there and uh, whiffed on it. This five wide, you don't see often. And he's going to audible from it to that Taysom Hill package. QB blast here. Radiant needs to get controlled with Tillman so he can get a big hit. Lamar right up the middle. He'll pick up somewhere near nine. 962 days. That is how long it's been since Scheman's last major appearance in the Madden 17 championship. He looks right at home. He does, man. A lot of people had Scheman as the favorite in this division. It was it was close, but he does that have that experience factor. Like we said, Madden 17 had a phenomenal year. A lot of deep runs. This is a guy that's well respected in the Madden community by everyone. Labs with guys like Wild. Labs with guys like Tweez. Some of the best players over the last couple of years. So definitely a guy you cannot take lightly. Ish, Beast Mode, Evil. Kid. That's a that's a great group of players to be labbing against. Lamar, QB, Blast, give him a first down, fighting through tackles. I love how Scheman's utilizing that clock. He hiked it about four right there. Um, trying to get out of this third quarter with the lead. Even if he takes a field goal here and gets into the fourth quarter, you're up 10, it's only five minutes left. It's a great situation to be in. Scheman's family watching back home. Wanted to shout out his Uncle Phil, his cousins PJ and TJ. His family support back home. He's got a seven point lead, nearing the tail end of the third quarter. Back into that Taysom Hill package. No Pollard, that's DeMarco at halfback, but it don't matter because it's going to be Lamar Jackson taking the carry. Radiant, good defense. Yeah, finally some good QB blast defense right there by Radiant. You can see the emotion on his face. He wants a fumble badly. He's waiting for that Pat Tillman to come through for him. And this is a guy in scheming that actually is friends with Damian Lillard of the Portland Trail Blazers, coaches his AAU team. Schema was a point guard in college, so both these guys have a lot of hoops backgrounds, obviously, and they're both doing great things on the Madden gridiron, too. Damian Lillard's a pretty good friend to have. He's, oh. he's making some noise in the NBA. Flag down, free play for Schema. He's going to take his shot to Tyreek Hill. It's going to be picked off by Jackson. This should be coming back, though, for an offsides penalty. You've got to love, though, the awareness from Scheman knowing he had a free play. Such a smart play by Scheman right there. You don't see that often. A lot of players don't take advantage of those situations. Why wouldn't you just throw it up? If you have nothing else, throw it up on a one-on-one -on -one situation, see where you come down with it on a free play. Second out of five. Jackson taking a hit. Begging for Pat Tillman to make something happen. Yeah, you can see it on Radiant Space right there. He wanted that badly. <laughs> Tillman with a huge hit stick on Lamar. No fumble, though. Talking to Scheman, he said, I'm tired of striking out when I need it. I am all in on this. It's 30 minutes from home. He feels like this is a home game. Yeah, he's put all his chips on the table this year in Madden. And he, he's looking to make a huge run here. It all starts with this NFC North semifinal. Lamar, oh, he's got some room. Way oh, up, bam, Lamar. scheming into the end zone. Too much speed, too much speed. Lamar Jackson, one of the best players in Madden, is paying dividends right now for scheming. Man, this QB blast is a problem right now. Someone's got to find defense for it. And, you know, a lot of people maybe watch at home. They saw the Heavy Panther early. How does this differ from that Heavy Panther package with Lamar? Completely different because it's in that three wide receiver package where you can audible to bunch, audible to shotgun tight offset, audible down to single back. So many different options you can do out of that formation, which in the Heavy Panther you cannot do that. Let's take a look at this one more time. It was really once you get past that first level, Lamar can just... Take it to the crib. Yeah, that Jonathan Abram just not fast enough to catch up with Lamar. Big touchdown right there for Scheman. Radiant going with the conservative play on his last drive, taking the field goal instead of going for it on fourth and one. Finds himself down two scores. Luck. Look at the pocket presence. He's going to take a shot. Looking for Devin Hester. Can pull him out. Get there. He Whoa. can. Scheman, his Whoa. top player, Troy P, making plays. Great click on right there by Scheman for that Troy Paul Amalu. Runs back. Devin Hester couldn't get there fast enough. Great click on a pick. Scheman's in complete control. Let's look at this one more time. He's on Bullock. Just sees him get over the top, and there's that click on on Troy P. That's why you get a Troy P, man. Just phenomenal job right there. And Radiant trying to take a chance, trying to go deep. Scheming was all over it. Uh, scheming in firm control. He'll give it to Tony Pollard, trying to find some room. That will be the last play of the third quarter. Put your fours up in the chat. 
Bam scheming, putting on a show up by 14. Yeah, and right now, if you're scheming, you don't even care about getting points. You just want to run this clock as much as you can. Try to get to the two-minute warning at, at least if you can. The clock is the most important thing right now for him. Interesting thing with scheming. Hasn't made a live final since all the way back in Madden 17, but he's made three straight club finals. San Francisco in 17, Oakland the last two years. Of course, Oakland won by our defending champ, Pavin. Now going up to the NFC North, and he's making a name for himself. If you didn't know Bam Scheman before this, you're knowing him now. Oh, yeah, and he said he did this as a business decision. He wanted to go where he thought he had the best opportunity to win. And look, it was a great decision because he's looked phenomenal. He's, he's about to be in the Final 16 if he can hold on here. And looks like Radiant doesn't really have an answer for that QB blast. Ooh, little mix up there, throwing the ball. Just a, that looked like a play Radiant could have clicked on, maybe made a play just a tad late. Yeah, I don't know why Scheman went away from that QB blast. He's having so much success with it on this drive. And now a big fourth and inches call here. If you're Radiant, you've got to get off the field on this play. I think it's got to be Lamar Jackson time. He's had so much success. Not a whole lot of the second level defensively. Can he make a stop? Lamar, when you ask the question, can you make a stop on Lamar, the answer is usually no. Yeah, Lamar just too good. 16 rushes, 200, over 200 yards. Radiant just does not have an answer for this Taysom Hill QB blast. I got to ask you, TD, are you a uh, game sound, music, when you play? And a lot of people asking at home, what, what do you listen to? Yeah, I've talked with this, about this with a lot of people. I used to be music, like rap music, all that stuff. I switched to game sound now. It makes me focus a lot better each and every play. When, we, when you listen to music, you're too hype, in my opinion. But it's everyone, it's, everyone has a different preference. Oh, tell Phenom that. You think he's hype over there? <laughs> Pollard up the middle. Scheman said the same thing. He said he learned his lesson from listening to music. Lock in now, party later. Yeah, exactly. 24 to 10. Scheming on top, and now you see the clock management running this down. Every second counts. Radian looking for some sort of turnover, something to go his way. Reminder, we got BG Fam and Phenom also going on right now. We'll check in with Josh and Mo. The highlights in that game. So one more time, Lamar Jackson, 17, 208, and two tutties. I like what Scheme is doing. So he's coming out in this five wide, and the audible to that Taysom Hill package is really quick because the only thing that moves is that Tony Pollard to the backfield. It only takes about two seconds. A lot of guys will come out and trip wide trips and audible to it, which is a quick, quick motion too. I like this five wide concept. And he's throwing the ball here on third and nine with the lead. And why not when you got Marvin Harrison Dime. catching dimes? Lamar's only second completion of the day. But he's got a two-score lead. I am just super impressed with Scheman's offense. He's looked phenomenal. Coming out in this wide, five wide, he has a lot of dots out of that formation, and then he can audible to that QB blast when he wants to run with Lamar. Just a great job all game right now, offense and defense for Bam Scheman. I'll take this all the way down to the two-minute warning with that 14-point lead, and if you're watching at home, you're looking for some schemes to try out. I mean, Scheman is a great one to watch because the other thing is it's never just one scheme. In two weeks, he may be running something totally different that he finds. Yeah, very unorthodox, very different, very unique. That's why he's had success in the past because a lot of people can't prepare for him, and he's doing a phenomenal job of doing that again in this tournament. Yeah, how can you build a team for a scheme that changes every two weeks? You never know what scheme will find. Is Lamar up the middle. Radiant not using his timeouts. Yeah, you got to consider using them at this point. You're going to have to rely on an onside kick. Scheman's done a great job running this clock to the two-minute warning, moving the ball down the field. I would think after this play, Radiant's going to call a timeout. Play clock down under 10. Mar one more time. Lather, rinse, repeat. Is this Radiant giving him the unofficial tap out? I think he's going to try to. Yeah, I don't. I guess so because there's, there's not enough time. He, he has to call his timeouts. Take a hit on Lamar. That clock's going to run down though, and headphones are coming off. Maybe, possibly. Tough run for Radiant here. A lot of hope coming into this. We saw a lot of skill from him in that Lions Final Four, but. Ran into an unconventional system. And again, I don't think a lot of people have defense for this Taysom Hill package. That's why Joe had so much success yesterday. Exactly. I don't think Radiant was prepared for that QB blast. Probably hasn't had a lot of reps versus so we haven't seen it at all this year. Scheming with a phenomenal job. He gave us the old pump fake on the 
on the GGs. They went, hold on, wait, <laughs> maybe, hold on. And he's going to make him run one more play. Snaps it at one, runs backwards, and falls on down. And it is GGs in the chat, scheming a phenomenal performance, taking down Radiant 24 